Hey everyone, it's me, Phoenix Darkwing, and welcome to a gameplay video. Just starting you guys off saying that we're going to be playing the Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, uh, it's the pizzeria design place thing. And I've cut out the first bit because it didn't open properly and it was messing up quite a bit, but. I've cut that out and have this as the intro instead, but it is by Scott Coffin, so it's not a fan-made game. It is by him. It was one of his latest games that he made. So for my curl here. That is what's going to be disappearing today. I'm losing my hair today. Ugh. Yeah. Sorry, I couldn't remember earlier, so. Well, I hope you guys do enjoy the video, and please hope you enjoy. Right. See you in the video. Ah, there it is. Ah, now it's like sausage. Pepperoni. Onions. Mushrooms. Oh, no, I don't like olives. Peppers. No, I'll have olives. Enter. Alright. Oh, to be ASD and shift to throw pizzas. Shift. Shift, shift, shift. Why are we destroying little children? Well then. How many points was? Oh. Okay. Well, that's normal. <laughs> oh. What happened to Dolores? Um. 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 What? I'm sorry guys, but by the way, I'm not going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's and all them until later on, but what is going on right here? I know I'm not going to be playing Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, 3, 4, for, um, Five Nights at Freddy's uh, sister location and all that until after I've done this, I'm going backwards through them. It may sound weird, but what? Oh. Begin safe. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you are playing this tape, that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Oh, what are you doing? Ah! Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. What is he doing? I'm actually scared. 
document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Please, no. So realistic. Trust me, what I don't trust you. About? We're talking about becoming a fan no. fair entertainment no. franchisee. That's right, restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Just now, no let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as Pro a Bad Bear Entertainment franchise. His face Such is already scaring me. Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Uh, entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride, and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Disappearance, death, or dismemberment. No. 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 No, I'm scared. Oh God! Day one. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. Hundred dollars. On your left are your product catalogs. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to Take place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping.
for one, it comes with bloody speakers. And it comes with a stage. And that stage looks bloody brilliant. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. What's I meant to have? What's I meant to grab? Uh, what's it called? Oh, yes. Him. Mr. Stick People. I should have gone for them. Damn it! Video is almost over. For. The video is literally almost over because I can only record 50 minutes at a time because of how it's doing. Well, I'll make this half an hour, so I'll do double the recording. There may be a tiny bit of a slip, but one sec. So let's get these cups orders. Sorry, I had to wait until it had processed the video first hour. It's a tiny bit darker since how it's been half an hour since the first half, 15 minutes of recording. Please bulbs, come on, come on, come on. There. 
Is that done? Quit man. No, got no money so far. Great job! It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. No. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage, or if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please make your choice now. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Uh, for it's the alleyway or keep it. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic. This is the only one I'm salvaging. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Got my finger on the control button. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. It's gonna move. Oh, fudge. I accidentally. Like did that. That was by accident. My finger is that close on it. Document results. No. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. It's kind of bloody move, isn't it? Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one.
Who was that? No, 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 And it was Salvage Value 500. That's nothing. I don't like you. risk I didn't notice that oh god oh I don't like this already That is disgusting, no thanks.
Ow, ow. Boom! Go! Oh, dear lord. Dum, 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 dum. That's nice. Um, if you guys look um, up there, all the way up there, to the top left of the screen, you'll see a bloody clown. What has blood coming out of its eyes? And uh, let's have a look at the front, shall we? Um, quickly. Oh, uh, Bonnie, uh, black thing. Don't know what that is. Uh, looking to the background. If you guys look, you can see stuff in the background. Hell no. Right, hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you have, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see all you guys next time. Goodbye!